Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from websofttutorials.com. In this video guys, we will talk about logical operators in PHP. Guys, I want to tell you, there are three kinds of logical operators in PHP. It's AND, OR, and NOT. Firstly guys, uh, I will talk about uh, logical AND operator, which is used to check uh, more two or more than two conditions at a time. Means, all the conditions should be true in order to run the IF block. So. Firstly, guys, what I will do, uh, I think it's next example will be a login system in which we will check username and password. So I will write username equal to admin and then password equal to 12345. Okay, so I will check condition here if username equal to admin and Guys, it's double ampersand which is used for and logical and operator and so we'll write password equal to one two three four five. Then I'll print some message here. Welcome. Else if the username and password is wrong, then I echo. Please enter username or password. Okay, so firstly I will refresh. You will see welcome. Guys, I will uh, firstly I will show you what is it is doing. Firstly, it is checking if username equal to admin, which is true, and password equal to one two three four five, which is also true. Then it will execute this block. Suppose if I'll Right password one three four five, but it is checking if the password is one equal to one two three four five. So this condition is true, but this condition is false. So I have already told you both conditions should need to be true, uh, means should need to be correct in order to run uh, uh, this block. Otherwise, it will go to this else block. So if I'll go to the browser and refresh, Oops, I need to check it again. Oops, it's uh, double equal to because we are uh, compar comparing it so you can see please enter it's not enter it's please check username or password please check username or password so if I write 2 here if I uh, username equal to admin and password equal to 1 2 3 4 5 refresh welcome now we will talk about logical or operator means uh, it will check it means one of the conditions should need to be true in order to run the if block means in order to run the uh, statement you can say like and its symbol is double pipe simple now uh, firstly we will check if username is equal to admin or password equal to one two three four five means one of the conditions should need to be true in order to run this statement refresh you can see if I'll set it password to one now it is checking if the username is equal to admin or password equal to one two three four five. So what will happen? Refresh. You will get the same result because this condition is true, and I have already told you one of the conditions should need to be true. Means this condition is false, but this condition is true. So if one of the condition will true, it will run this block. So guys, in the last, we will talk about logical not operator. Suppose guys, we have a variable, and its value is hello. Now if empty guys this is a PHP function which is used to check a variable value whether it is empty or not so I write dollar a if dollar a is empty means if a has no value I write a has no value else echo a has some value okay refresh a has some value means firstly it is checking if a is empty then it will go to this block but a has some value so it will not go to this block it will go to this block a has some value if I remove the value what will happen a has no value now we will use logical not operator here so I'll write an auto operator sign of exclamation means if variable 
is not empty means it has some value so I will write this message here so I write a has no value means if a is not empty it will go to this block because we have used logical not operator which is saying if a is not empty a has some value otherwise a has no value a has no value because it is empty but it is checking if it is not empty so if I will write some as uh, value a has some value means a is not empty so the condition is correct and it will execute this block so guys this was about logical operators in PHP guys if you have any question you can go to my discussion forum or you can leave a comment below so thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos let's see in the next tutorial